If you're happy and you know it, does your personality really show it? And that's what one ISU professor is trying to prove through research. She wants to see if emotions and personality traits are directly related to each other. For example, if you're happy when talking about a particular subject, could that possibly indicate a deeper personal characteristic? Logan and State's Misty English went to ISU today to speak to the professor doing this research. She joins us live now from the university. So, Misty, this study is being funded by the National Science Foundation. It is, Jay. Tara Letzring is a psychology professor here at ISU, and she recently received a grant from them for this study. The grant is a little more than $400,000, and research has already started. I am super excited. I, I really never thought I would get a grant like this. Tara Letzring is excited to be able to study if there's compatibility between emotions and personality traits. The study will look at whether or not emotions and traits cause each other. Meaning, if you can accurately judge one, can you more accurately judge the other? It seems like you would have to know what someone is like in the moment, so that would be the state emotion judgment, to have any chance at figuring out what they're like long term. The study will involve people watching short three to four minute videos. The videos are of various people given the same seven situations. Based on the emotional reactions to these situations, both verbal and nonverbal, it can indicate the differences in personality types. For example, when asked about goals, someone who is driven and goal-oriented will have a more positive response. Those to whom goals are less important will have a different emotional reaction. They might actually express a lot more negative emotion even in that same situation. So we were trying to create these situations where emotion and traits would actually go together. So if you can accurately read people's initial emotions, that could help more accurately determine what that person will be like down the road. If we can figure out how trait judgments are made, especially how they're made accurately, maybe we can come up with some kind of an intervention or a training program to increase people's level of accuracy. Researchers will be using what they're calling STAM, or the State and Trait Accuracy Method for this. Research will be done in four separate studies over the next three years. Live from Idaho State University, I'm Misty Inglet. Thanks, Misty. Participants in the study will be ISU students and community members. They will also reach out to some members of the Idaho Falls community. We should do that. That'd be really fun. I mean, I feel like we already know everything about each other after all these years together, but it would really be fun to see where our emotions and our... You know, to, to study things scientifically. Yeah. That's always kind of yeah, cool. It is. Yeah.